Okay, here's a quick example of how you might use a sequential relationship uh, alignment. So rather than just using this traditional relationship fit, you can choose to use a sequential alignment. And one of the advantages to this is that it's a saved alignment that gets saved in the tree under alignments. And this can be used in relationship fitting. Uh, it can be used for gd &T. It can be used for a number of different things as, a, as a, an initial alignment. Um, so if you go and you activate it, you'll see a dialog opens up and this shows you what relationships are being used and in what order. So it is sequential. That's a key part of the name, meaning that it'll do one thing, then it'll do the next, then it'll do the final thing. And that's the process of the fitting. Uh, so you first pick alignments using this button here. You pick which relationships to include and what objects to move. So that then is in the background, it's saved. And you then choose the degrees of freedom that you want to apply for each one of the individual relationships. So in my case, I'm fitting this conical top to this, uh, this, this big cylinder. And it's going to do a couple of things. So first of all, I have a cone that's measured at the very top. And I want that, the axis of the cone and the axis of the cylinder to line up. So I'm going to control the degrees of freedom, the Rx and Ry. Um, allow it to tilt until those align to each other you know, so that they're parallel. So that's the first thing. And then if you notice, um, those are not adjusted by the other relationships. So that is then held. The next I have the points uh, to the mating base plane. So that's that base plane here. So um, that will then move it over in Z. And then the last thing is to just simply shift it um, using the remaining degrees of freedom. So I can use the bolt hole pattern that, that attaches the bolts to this piece as the last piece. And so essentially you lay all this out in advance. It's, it's now saved and at any point I can open up this sequential alignment and re recalculate it. And it'll do the al alignment in sequence. First one, then the next, then the third. And once it's decided that it has a happy alignment, then this button will line up and you can just say apply. And it will move everything over at one time. So as you can see, the cone is now aligned with the cylinder, the bolt hole pattern lines up, and you can see the individual errors. So that's the whole concept. Um, it actually has an undo as well, so you can move it back. Um, that's kind of one of the fun things. It's kind of a newer alignment and gives you some extra control. And that's that's an introduction to sequential alignment.